Welcome back to another episode of Jeremy's Point of View. Here on today's episode, I'm doing a trailer reaction for a new movie starring Pedro Pascal, Karen Gillan, David Duchovny, a bunch of really great actors and actresses in this movie. It is called The Bubble, and I really don't know anything about it, so let's dive into the trailer and take a peek at this thing. Sounds like a baby crying for its mom. There we go. Keegan Michael Kelly too. What the hell? <laughs> ah, okay. They're filming a movie. Now that was a great take. All right, interesting, interesting. So, The Bubble, I still don't really know what the title's about, but there for a sec I thought we were getting some wacky horror monster movie, but it looks like, just from watching it here, that's such a terrible monster. <laughs> but I think it's meant to be ridiculously cheesy, obviously. This is obviously a comedy of some sort. That's good, that's good, that's good, I like that. All right, cool. Cool. Stars of production of Cliff Beast Six. Cliff Beast Six. Thank you for joining oh, us. That's terrible. Please make sure you're wearing proper PPE. Physical. You know, I love when Hollywood um, is able to, in some way, spoof itself. I hope that they they go heavy when it comes to this. There's a lot of really good people in it too, uh, so I'm pretty excited for this. I like Karen Gillan. So I would recommend making sweet eyes at each other. I'll show you what that looks like. <laughs> yeah, I miss David Duchovny and stuff, especially comedic roles. I think David Duchovny is completely underrated in comedic roles. TV series Californication, he is fantastic, top notch. He's funny in that role. He could be dramatic when he needs to be. And one of my all-time favorite movies is Evolution. I mean, I don't even need to say much more. Tuki Tuki, like, come on. So. I'm excited to see him in this too. And I like Pedro Pascal a lot. We are one of two movies in production right now. If we fail, the studio is going to go down. I'm not a magician. I know you're not a fucking magician. If you were a fucking magician, you'd pull a movie out of your ass. Oh my god, it's Minnie Driver. I love her. You know, I, I'm not a big fan of her. And it's nothing against her personally. I hope that her role, like, I just, I don't know. Ghostbusters 2016 really tainted me a lot of those actresses. I just thought that movie was absolute horseshit. The movie's horseshit. It, it's an absolutely god-awful, terrible film. It is not funny. Melissa McCarthy is typically not funny. Although she was pretty solid in a more dramatic role in Nine Perfect Strangers, which I watched. I thought that was pretty decent. So I actually prefer her in non-comedic roles to comedic roles. So, okay, so we got Judd Apatow directing it. So that gives me high hopes. High hopes there. It's real. Crystal just did a fucking TikTok with a dinosaur. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, I don't feel so good. Some of you tested positive for influenza. Lord! Uh, uh, Big something's up with Lord. Should we be concerned about, you know, this level of vomit? There's some really creepy shit going down on the cliff you saw right now. <laughs> Okay, so basically, I, I think I, I've picked up on all of it now, this aspect of the uh, of the trailer. we got a film being made, height of the pandemic, the bubble, refers to the bubble all the actors and actresses are being put in, and they make a comment about it being the only film, uh, one of two films, you know, in, in the works during basically the pandemic, and how they need this, or the studio's gonna go down. So they're basically going to be quarantining and not allowing any of these actors or actresses to leave, and obviously hijinks ensue, and there we got, we got a basic problem for a film. I don't hate it, and you know why I don't hate it? Because it, it's at least something new from Hollywood. Like, this isn't a retread, a remake, a rehash, a re and whatever they decide to do, uh, reimagining, whatever the new terminology is. We're actually getting something new that relates to something we've gone through, and it's nice to get at least something that's fresh And when it comes to, especially with comedy, with comedic films. I would kill for more fresh horror films, but getting a fresh comedic film is is a plus for me. I'm, wow. I'm, I'm happy about that. Why do you look like Benedict Cumberbatch right now? Hello, I'm Dr. Strange. <laughs> <laughs> Stop being Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, I'm a big bag hunter with the bow. She got a big bad number drop low. Mama call me. She is here against our will. Ah! It's been a brief. Shit, it's getting real on 
what you have placed. Mom, they're not real. I thought there was an elephant wearing a mask or something. All right, all right, cool, cool. Um, let's see, written by Judd Apatow and Pam Brady, directed by Judd Apatow. Like I said, I'm getting something fresh, something new. I'm excited about that. I look forward to a new comedy. I'm hoping it's not overly cheesy. This is probably going to tend to be one of those movies where they throw things at the wall and hope things stick. And I'm hoping more things stick than don't. But it's a fun premise. It's got some really good people in it, which gives me high hopes. Like I said, Karen Gillan, Pedro Pascal, David Duchovny. I mean, I love all those. Uh, we got, what, Key from Key and Peele. It looks good. It looks solid. Looks like it could be funny. And I will hold out high hopes that it is, because we could use a new funny movie, and we could use uh, some of Judd Apatow's better work. You know, his last few didn't really hit the mark for me, personally. Uh, but I am a huge fan of Knocked Up and, and some of his other films and some stuff that he's, you know, produced on and worked with on. So, um, high hopes. So, yeah, that was the trailer for The Bubble. What did you guys think of it? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Until then, peace.